Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be creating another custom solar system which we will evolve from birth to death. So this is now version 9. We've already done 8 versions of these now, that's pretty crazy. It's been a while since we did the last one so I thought it's about time we uh, did the next one. And yeah, I remember I seen a comment about making it with no custom objects. So that is exactly what we're going to do for this one as well. I thought that was quite a good idea. So obviously we're going to have our star and then all the planets we're going to effectively form ourselves from little chunks of rocks so should be uh, should be pretty cool so without further ado let's begin so star wise again we'll go with something basic and we'll slowly sort of evolve it up so um, what we'll do is we'll go over random main sequence here so let's just go ahead and place a star in here so we'll have this as our proto star but first of all i want it to have more mass than that so we'll start it out i don't know um Let's go two sands, something fairly fairly chunky there. I don't want it being obviously that large. So let's just put it to density on the locket of two masses, but the radius does not need to be that big. So we're only having a proto star, so we're gonna have it fairly small. It's two masses of sun though, so it is a fairly uh fairly large star. Um, luminosity will go to 0 0.4 to begin with. So two masses, radius is only five Jupiters right now, so we've put that in suns. Uh, where are we? So it's only 0 0.5 suns currently in its um, young form. So there is our proto star. So we'll start with that. So I'll go ahead and save as well. So you know the drill. B to D. Birth to death. Save. Done. Okay. So now the planets. But first of all, we need to do that cool thing where we have the simulation temperature up. So where is it? Here it is. I think it's this one, isn't it? No, that's not that one. Uh, background temperature, that's it. So, as we slowly heat the background temperature of the simulation up, that means that when the stuff will form, it will stay glowing hot. So, it should be pretty cool. So, our system has just formed. Say we're inside a nebula or something. So, all the planets that form, they can be pretty hot. So, there we go. So, first of all, let's go ahead and add... Obviously, we're going to need an asteroid belt because we need our planetary disk to actually form planets and stuff from. So, where are we? So, I want to add it to this. I already added the ring, didn't I? No, we need to uh, customise it first. So, could turn the particles up really high. <laughs> right, so anyways, um, I want it at one radius of object going all the way out to... Let's go with about 40 AU. So, 40. There you go. Add the ring. And it should all be there. Let's see, where are we? Oh, yeah, you can see it there. I'll see it's quite hard to spot because of the um, simulation temperature. But the ring is there. If you look very carefully, you can see it. So, okay. Cool, cool. Good stuff there. Okay, so we'll go ahead and close that. So we have our planetary disk, effectively, where all the planets will form. So if we just, um, just try and tune this down just so we can see it a little easier. So... There you go, you can, uh, they are there, you can see. Also, I don't want to make it too hot, because obviously we won't be able to see them all, but yeah, they're quite hard to spot, but they are there. So yeah, just keep that in mind. So, now, planets. So what we're going to do is, we're not going to use really any of this, other than just starting out with tiny little rocks. So what we're going to do is, we'll literally have random asteroids that we'll pick, and then we'll slowly make these larger, so... Let's place a bunch of objects here. Let's slowly work our way in and out. So we'll have one there, 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 there. Let's actually have two really close together. Maybe we'll get like an Earth Fayer kind of combination with those two. Place them there. And another object further out. So we'll slowly have a decent line of objects sort of in this whole area. So there you go. Maybe some of these will form up, some of them won't. So we'll, we'll keep an eye out. But yeah, we'll have a. We'll make these into the planets. Effectively, these are the asteroids that are big enough in this disk to eventually bring more rocks together. So we'll kind of stick with that. Um, I guess we could have one a little further out. I mean, the disk doesn't really go past 40 AU, so it wouldn't really make sense to have anything further out than 40. So we can have one there. Alright, okay, so. All the way down to the first object, so closest to the star. So right now, as you can see, it literally is burning hot because the simulation's burning hot as well. So it's pretty cool. Right, so, slow down time. Now, we want to build this into a planet, effectively. So, add. Now we want asteroids. Launch. And we're going to slowly, but surely, make larger and larger objects. So, one object, as you know, with the formation of planets, 
It's one object, gravity, that brings a load of other objects together and makes a slowly larger and larger object. So let's just say gravity brings all of these together. And we're eventually going to get larger and larger bodies. So check it out. Oh, yes. Oh, oh. There you go. So, as you can see, we're already getting a larger object form out of all of this. So, pretty awesome stuff indeed. Let's just speed up time a bit just so we get a bit more action. But as you can see, one object slowly gets more dominant and gets bigger and bigger. So, as you can see, there we go. So that's how a planet forms. So you can see it's getting it gets more spherical as it gets larger. As more and more objects collide with it. So looking good. And eventually this may collide with another planet for all we know. And make a bigger planet. Which would probably what will happen in here. So there we go. Let's just slowly let time continue. So it's 208 right now in uh, radius. So again it's not very big. But you can see it is becoming more, a, more of a sphere as time progresses. You can see it's getting a lot of craters. It's really weird how the collision sound doesn't activate anymore. It's weird. So you can see we've got a sphere now. Check it out. That is awesome. So there we go. So maybe it collides with a larger object that's formed nearby. So what about something like that? Oh, and there you go. So it now creates an even bigger planet. As you can see. And it slowly builds up with more and more and more asteroids. So a random asteroid. So literally just infinite amounts of asteroids just fly into it until it becomes large enough to be considered a proper planet because right now this would only be a dwarf planet sort of size so obviously we want a we want a big one so maybe we just shoot more small moons into it and there you go so it just gets a larger and larger object continues to form every single time and there you go oh until you get a planet large enough to be or an object large enough to be considered a planet really so there you go because you look at all the debris all that debris is all going to fall back eventually. So there you go. Oh, yeah. So the formation of planets, everybody. Check it out. So there you go. I think that's enough for our first planet closest to the star. So you can see it's got a lot of bodies to um, form with. So there you go. Maybe we'll give it a little atmosphere and then we'll come back to it later and sort of see how it develops. So atmosphere. Let's go with one. So let's go with a simple ATM down here. Oh, but where's it? Surface pressure. That's what we want. So... ATM, let's go 0 0.8. There you go. So that's an atmosphere. We'll come back to it later, see how that planet kind of forms. So there you go. There's our first planet. And just so we know it's done, we'll give it a trail color. There you go. Okay, next planet out. The same principle. So, for instance, what we'll do is we'll just slowly buff it up because you can also assume how it sort of works. So there you go. There's our second planet. So formed exactly the same way. Lots of collisions. And there you go. So there's our second planet. So there we go. Let's make it a little bigger. Make it a considerable size. So 0 0.6 masses of Earth. So a fairly, a fairly large chunk there that's formed. So there you go. And again, atmosphere pressure. Let's give it an atmosphere. Let's go 1.2 ATM on this guy. So there you go. Okay, cool. Next planet out. Let's have a little more collisions. So here we go. It's always nice to have some collisions. I think what I'll do is instead of launching them, I'm just going to spray a load of asteroids nearby. So not small moons, asteroids. Yep. Okay, here we are. So slow down time, nice and slow. It's going to be a few seconds, and then slowly, you can see all this is going to merge into one big object. So there you go. Oh, the first one we placed actually got destroyed. Right, okay. Maybe put a small moon in the middle just to suck up all that stuff. So there we go. Well, the small moon sizes really vary, don't they? Oh, oh, no, no, no. Not a random one. So small moon uh, asteroid. There we go. So I guess what we'll do is we'll now launch them. At each other. I need a little more to speed. That's the only problem when you're running the simulation so slow. Look at all that debris, man. That's a lot of stuff. So, there you go. Oh, yeah. So, the formation of planets, everybody. You can see there's just carnage everywhere. Look at that. How that's, that texture changed there. The color of that change. Oh, that's fantastic stuff. So, there you go. There we can get some proper action now with the planet formation. So, it's cool. It's a fascinating process, really, isn't it? Uh, much we'll do is we'll turn up the launch velocity just so stuff can get out of our way faster. There we go, that's more like it, so... Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, this is carnage. So maybe this is a planet that actually needs to have more earthy conditions. There's a lot of material being slung around here, so maybe we need to shoot... Um, and just actually, instead of doing that, we need to use the material button here. And actually spray some water here, so this planet is actually picking up water. 
as we're slowly doing that. So maybe this will be an Earth-like world at some point. Let's just spray a lot of water in there. We'll see how that world sorts itself out. There we go. We'll spray some iron as well. Maybe it'll be iron rich as well. Spam all that in there. There we go. So it's picking up material. Excellent stuff. You can see it's got some more objects out there. So maybe they'll form into moons. Who knows? So there we go. And then more asteroids. We'll slowly increase the launch velocity just to really get things moving here. So there we go. So just huge crashes and smashes in here. So only traveling at a couple minutes. So you can see just just an, an, a massive amount of objects just smashing into this thing. So it's picking up. So you can see, yeah, we've got the uh, kind of our own equivalent of the um, bombardment period in our own solar system here. So there we go. Maybe we'll give it a cool texture like Callisto or Mercury to sort of represent the asteroid collisions. So oh, there you go. So if I actually select the planet itself now. So Ivis Pa. Composition. You can already see it has water. So definitely a potential life world in the far future from this point. So obviously atmosphere what we'll do is we'll go over one atm world this time so we'll try and build this into an earth-like world but naturally formed so pretty cool and then surface what i want to do here is we'll go up to the textures here so elevation map one and two let's go over mercury and a callisto hybrid to really represent the amount of craters that this planet has taken so callisto there you go and then um just give it a cool thing so let that sort itself out it has got the textures there so we'll see how that um, sorts itself out in the future. So we'll leave that there. There's a lot of debris all flung around there, but we'll we'll soon get rid of that. So next up, we've got this planet out here. So eventually what we'll do is we'll just slowly... Um, actually, these two are in close to orbit. So maybe in the far future from this point, maybe these guys will collide. Let's times that by 10. So we'll go 0 0.1 there. And make the larger planet. Oh, so it goes to slowly formed a larger object there. Okay, so we've got those two formed. Then we, we, won't, we won't collide with every single one because we don't want to be here all day just forming the planets now, although it is a lot of fun. So we've got to make a larger super Earth there, 1.81 radius of Earth. Okay, now maybe we have a more gaseous object form here. So maybe, let's say a world of hydrogen. So effectively the first gas giants are forming here, so maybe this one's going to have a lot more mass. So we'll go over 23 mass of Earth, so not the largest gas giant ever, but still a gas giant nonetheless. So that is slowly forming. Excellent stuff. Um, that's obviously going to need some uh, customization down the road. Okay. Now we're taking a big sort of jump here, so maybe we have a lot more gas giants in the further reaches of the system. But maybe over time, maybe they'll slowly migrate inwards, who knows. So again... I want hydrogen as the dominant element. But maybe this one contains some water as well. Water and hydrogen. So more of an ice giant we got going on here. So let's make this quite a large one. Oh, God. Oh, don't make it into a star. Oh, no. Don't do that. That could be seriously bad. Okay, let's just... Oh, imagine if that thing blew up. I mean, I kind of hope it hasn't. <laughs> there it is. Okay, cool. Woo! That could have been seriously bad if that made a star and explode. I think we'll just save it just in case. So there you go. Cool. Okay, don't press the times 10 button. Note to self. <laughs> okay, that's, that's save. Okay, so I want this one to still be pretty large. So 1.29. Maybe, maybe we have it 2.5 now. So that'll be our dominant gas giant in this system. So there we go. Cool, cool. Okay. So next up, we've got another one here. Oh, whoa, what the heck? Radius. It's a tiny little thing. What's that all about? One radius of Earth, please. There we go. So let's have it at one point. Blah, blah. So that's not exactly the same. So we'll have a few Rockies out there. We'll see how they sort of develop. But for the most part, this is going to be a more gassy area with the planets. So there you go. If I just give it straight up Jupiter mass 4.4, I'm gonna make it a little bigger. Thirty thousand kilometers. There, I guess I just slowly, slowly buff them up. Let's give this one a high level of water. There we go. And there will be some more, uh, more rocky planets further out as well. Let's have a, a few more out there. Whoop. There we go. Try and have a few more sort of planets. So I'm not going to go with the largest amount of planets ever in this system because I do want to try and sort of focus on as many objects as possible. So we don't want to have just too many objects going on here. So 
yeah, we'll slowly let these guys sort of form. Let the simulation run as well. So we'll do that. Times 10 radius. Uh, yeah, that's a little too much. <laughs> yeah, that's more like it. So a bit, bit of water and hydrogen there. Maybe we'll throw in some more dwarf planets for good measure. Um, that's still a little too big for my liking. Oh, that's that's an Earth radius. Never mind. Make it a little bigger than that. So there we go. Maybe this one just stays as a super Earth. It just didn't kick up any gas. We'll keep that like that. Okay. Another world of hydrogen. Let's just go straight to a radius of Jupiter. 0 0.1 Jupiters. Still a large object. And I think lastly, we did that one. I think we've done them all, I want to say. 1.73 centimetres. Yeah, that's a little bit small. Not sure. Was, oh, no, that may have just been a particle, actually. Okay, never mind. So I think that's all of our planets sort of lined up here. So let's just actually have a look at everything we've got here. So there's our lineup of planets. So we've got an interesting interesting build here. As you can see we've got some gas giants, got some rocky planets. Our, our dominant gas giant is big. I think we just need to tune that down a bit. I don't have been that big. So there you go. Okay, and then there's our rocky planets down in there. So you can see we've got, there's a super, look how big our super earth is. Here's a large rock. I think, yeah, maybe a little too big. Just gonna half, I'm going to halve that. There we go, that, that's more like it. Okay, there you go. So we've got all of our smaller objects down here. Okay, cool. And I think just for good measure, we'll throw a few more sort of random rocky planets in the mix as well. So we'll go random moon, or random, we'll go random rockies actually. And we'll just have sort of them just in the gas giant regions and just sort of see how they uh, sort of develop over time. But there we go, we're going to leave it like that. Let the simulation run a bit as now everyone has formed. Let's slowly see how this plays out. So let's just let time evolve. There you go. So you can see there's still a lot of debris flying around there. Whoa, oh, someone's just got slung out. So you can see there's already carnage going on here. I think that's all the material caused by one of the planets forming uh, was all that there. So there we go. Okay, so we've already got an interesting sort of um, little setup going here. Okay. Some of them have got their orbits. They're, they're retrograde. They're going the wrong way around. <laughs> okay. All right. Interesting stuff. So let's just let, um, let's just let time play out. It's all that water particles all getting slung out there. So something else has gone. Let's just get rid of all the particles now since we have got our line up. So there we go. Okay. Control D. Get rid of everything. Bye bye particles. There you go. So now it's running better. You can see there's a lot of retrograde action in there. So that's really weird. So there we go. So we've got our system formed. Excellent. So now we can slowly turn down the temperature in the system. Because now everyone's formed. Everyone's going to slowly cool down over a long period of time. So let's just go ahead and have the menu. So there's everyone there. Still got a little asteroid flying in there. So what is actually going on in here? So. It looks like they've, the system's naturally just cleaned itself out. Look, all those particles are gone now. All those little ones, so. All those little asteroids, I should say. Because there was stuff with orbits here, not just the particles. So they've all just gone. We've got like a tiny little rock here. Oh, that's gone. Okay, we'll just delete those because they're completely gone. Oh, no. I think we've lost our... We've lost one of our rocky worlds. <laughs> oh, no. That was one we built into as well. Oh, that's a shame. Was that the one we give the cool textures to as well? Oh, no way. It may have been. It was. Oh, no. Well, I kind of want to keep it. <laughs> let's use the power of... Uh, let's use our almighty power and just pretend that didn't happen. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to put it back. <laughs> oh, my God. It's miles away. Oh, my... Well, that thing got slung out fast. Wow, wait. Look how far away it is. We're going to slowly just bring it back and just say that never happened. I want that. I want to keep that. Oh man, it really is. It really has out there. I think got launched. There we go. There we go. Let's bring him back. I guess this will be a mysterious world, but it will. We will keep it. So, can I just auto it just to lock it back onto our uh, our star a bit? There we go. Now let's just bring it in to roughly where it was in the inner solar system. So, well, it's spinning like crazy as well. That is a mad object. Okay. It was an inner planet. Okay, we'll keep it there. There we go. So pretend that never happened. We're just using a bit of our power to fix that. So there we go. So it's got a pretty weird orbit, but there it is. All right, cool. Right, now we can turn down our system. So again, we'll save it. There you go. 
Okay. Yeah, replace, please. Thank you. Right, now we just need to um, tune the system temperature down. Now everyone's formed. There's our lineup. Okay. And then tools open down here. Oh, no, simulation, wasn't it? There we go. Simulation settings, please. There you go. So down here, slowly but surely. Cool it down all the way back to just the normal. There you go, background temperature. Just put it at zero. Absolute zero. There you go. So there's our lineup. We see the planets are slowly merging back to the way they are. But here is our lineup. So what do you think of this? Okay. Interesting. Okay. So pretty interesting. Yeah, okay. There's our crazy Callisto Mercury world that got beaten up, so there it is. Alright, so now we can go on to the customization process. How do we want to have these sorted? So Cause remember this is just a custom system as well as being one we evolved. So closest planet to the star. This is what it is. So it's losing material already. Oh wow, we what has happened here? So it's losing a lot of material. Doesn't contain any water though, so that's interesting. What is it actually losing? What is all this? Control D, can we get rid of it? No, it's still losing material. I wonder why. Ah. Let's have a look underneath that atmosphere. What's going on here? So There you go. I think what we'll do is as well. Is maybe, it, maybe it's too small in size. Maybe make it a little bigger. Oh, uh, it's mass. That's probably why its mass isn't really large enough to hold on. Let's make it bigger. No? Times 10. There you go. That should help it. Control D. There you go. That's better. All right. Yeah, we don't want it losing all that material. That, look at all those craters. Though. Oh, look at that. That thing has been bashed up. So that's one of the ones we evolved. So you can see uh, a big beating happened here. So I think we just need to give it a cool sort of texture now to really represent that. So, so why are they not showing through then? What's that all about? Not sure why the textures aren't showing. That's a bit weird, isn't it? Base colour. Let me see. Is it all the low? Oh, it's all low elevation. Okay. Wait, I've no idea why these aren't showing up then. Oh my god, look what we just did there. <laughs> oh man. So how do we want to have this customised? See, it's not really... I don't know why that's not really showing up. Maybe it's because they thought. Maybe it's because these were formed from asteroids. If we open it, and, yeah, I think I'll what I'll do is I'll quickly save it and reopen it, and then that should hopefully sort of reset all the textures when we go in. So that's a bit weird. But sometimes you always have to cl close the simulation if you create an object if you want to customize certain features. So we'll quickly do that. Hopefully that will just reset everyone in here. And then hopefully it should uh, sort of show up better. Okay, is that gonna work? No, I don't know then. Huh. So it has got them set there, so I don't know why that isn't... Yeah, it's not showing any of them. That is strange. That is really weird. Okay. Oh, never mind then. Well, we'll, we'll you'll keep them on there just in case they do try to show up. So there you go. So I think this will just be a hot rock being this close to the start anyway. I mean, at what temperature are we sitting at anyway? So it's already at 200 degrees. So this is kind of our mercury equivalent really, isn't it? So there we go. But I kind of want more craters. There isn't any craters. Look, where... Where's all this? I want to see all this. All of those. Look. Oh. You say this planet had all those craters. I want to see them. It's a little annoying, isn't it? Hi. Oh. Don't know why it's done that. That is a. That's weird. Don't know why they're not showing up. Uh, what we'll do is we'll, we'll quickly manually curate some uh, craters. Maybe, maybe there's a few more. Maybe it's the late bombardment period now. So there's still a few objects out there that want to collide and have some craters. There we go. Yeah, that's more like it, eh? They get some craters going on there, yeah. Random small move. I don't know if we want to. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's more like it. Some big objects in there. And just a few asteroids. Yeah, I mean, that will create loads. All that debris will create loads of stuff now. So there we go. That will give it some craters. Now we'll give it a cool. Uh, we'll give it a colour. So I okay, think we'll just go with the basic sort of mercury grey brownish sort of mix uh, on there. So 
Looks like this is mostly all low elevation, if you look carefully, look. Maybe we turn up some of the terrain? Oh, oh, turn the contrast, oh yeah! Oh, that looks better. Give it some actual craters. And, uh, that has a little more appearance to it if we see exaggerated terrain. Yeah, there you go, now you can see them. I'm guessing that's, we just needed this switched up, that's why we couldn't see the textures, so I guess that'll work. Uh, that should help a bit. Contrast, oh my god. Yeah! Oh, now, now you can actually see the textures, I think it has. Okay, that's good. Yeah, you can definitely see it. Hey, that's more like it. Cool. Well, I do like it now. Yeah, that, that's looking way better. So you can actually see all the craters we've created. We've created a lot of them as well, so... Good. Pleased with that. Very, very pleased indeed. Yeah. Cool. So that is our sort of Mercury-like object, I guess. They've got a lot of debris flying around there. Some of that will probably... You can see more orbits have been created from all that as well. So we'll let that sort itself out. Okay, next planet out. So, 200 degrees here already. So again, this is already too hot for any sort of life conditions. Let's turn that down a bit. Maybe we'll just give it a slight sort of orange uh, tint to it. Um, can this go away? There we go. There you go. So not, not a Venus, but, you know, still a thick atmosphere planet. So there we go. It doesn't have any water. Look underneath. That's what you got underneath. So it's just a blank. Why is it blank? <laughs> what? Flat and flat. No. There, yeah, there we go. That's more like it. Oh, you can see all the craters. There you go. Gamede Enceladus looks. So there we go. That's more like it. And then base color. How do we want to sort of have this? Well, I mean, if this is going to be a hot rock, we'll give it some sort of darker shades mixed in there as well. But again, this isn't a world that's going to be really lifelike, so we'll leave that alone. Got some clouds and then the atmosphere um, on top of it, so pretty barren world there. So that's definitely not where life would be chilling. So there you go. Now I'm hoping the third planet should be hopefully one. I think Ivanus Path. The one with a very strange formation that magically hopped back into the solar system after being injected. I think that will be a good world to uh, check out. Anyways, next up we've got the two sister planets that are formed in very similar orbits. I reckon there could be a collision between these two at some point. It's look how their textures have all just defaulted. That is weird. I guess it's because they form from asteroids. I'm assuming that's probably why. Mimus and Io together look good. Hey. But I think maybe some of these do need a bit of love, so... Oh yeah, I may add some water. What's that all about? Um, oh yeah, there we go. That, that'll probably help. Give it a little bit of mass at least. Come on. Uh, water, please. Why is it losing its mass? Is it too small? 2.9. Okay, we just need more more mass. There we go. That should help. Uh, it's 100 degrees. So that'll probably... Uh... Let's just let the time run a bit because I think the planets still need time to cool down effectively. So we'll let that sort itself out. Um, what we'll do as well... We'll get its atmosphere set up while we're doing letting that cool down. So let me increase the albedo a bit. Okay, I have uh, 0 0.7 ATM. Uh, I'd, I'd love an atmosphere. That'd be great. So why, why is that? Why is that losing its mass like that? What's causing that? So 0 0.3 masses of Earth there. One on the radius. Zero degrees. Let it warm up a bit. 1 ATM. Oh, well, okay. Is that going to work? Looks like it is. Okay. Cool. <laughs> nice. All the atmospheres are just defaulted to white at the moment. That's a bit weird. What we'll do is we will actually build this into an Earth-conditioned uh, world. So we'll see how it sorts itself out. It's got too much water, though. Yeah. I like. Can I settle the water, please? That'd be, uh, that'd be good. There you go. Ooh, I like. Oh, it looks good, actually. Yeah. So a world uh, could possibly be lifelike. Uh, maybe we need a bit of vegetation. Uh, so that would look like that once it's... Okay. Maybe we'll give it a unique colour of water as well. Sort of a bright, light, sort of blue shade. See how that sort of... Uh, how that looks. So quite a special looking world there. Quite a nice, it's a nice looking world as well, actually. I do like the way that looks. Yeah. So that world's in early early formation, so now that's cooled down. Then it's sister planet over here, which could have a collision in the far future, because they are sharing very similar orbits. 
So how does this world sort itself out? So maybe one world has the water, one world doesn't. So we'll see how this one does. So we'll go with that Callisto. Um, we'll mix Callisto with Io Callisto. Nah. What about a Europa? What about Europa first as the default, and then Callisto as the second one? So Europa Callisto, and then get some craters. That could be quite good. Sort of a mix of Europa Callisto together. That would be quite a cool looking one. Let's give it. Maybe maybe this one's just a full. Maybe we'll have it as literally a full frozen world actually. So again, we need to make it bigger because it's one massive Earth. There we go. Uh, radius is a little too big for my liking. Uh, Okay, hopefully that will uh, work. Um, I like an atmosphere, or maybe maybe this one, maybe this one's a very highly reflective world, so maybe this one stays cold. There you go. So that will freeze over time. So I just put it to minus a hundred. See how that sort of figures itself out. I guess we need to freeze. Uh, where are we? Freeze. Then you get that. So maybe it's just a world that has no atmosphere at all to really support. Or maybe we'll give it a little atmosphere. Maybe just nothing to really look after what it needs. So a very, very thin atmosphere. So if we go to atmosphere pressure, so 0 0.01. So a very, very thin atmosphere. Nothing that's going to be enough to really support anything. So there you go. Full frozen world there. With the Europa Callisto texture together. So let's see. Surface. So Callisto off. That's all just Europa at the moment. Offset is that going to do anything? Oh, you can see the you can see the cracks there. Yeah, elevation span. Then put Callisto back on. Got the craters mixed in there. It's pretty cool. Now what I want to do is down here in the colours. I would like to change. Yeah, I want that. I think that looks so cool. <laughs> yeah. So a very very mysterious world there, but there we go. So it's frozen, contains a lot of water as well, so we can see here. 1.92, so a fairly decent amount. It's a very similar orbit to its sister Earth-like world over here. There you go. Right, next up we've got Iver's Pass. So this is the world with a very strange orbit and rotation. So it's spinning very fast. We will slow that down. It's a 1.16 day, so a lot of time has passed now. Now we're going to set this one up as well for a good conditions. So... Mercury already has the already has what we want on it actually. Okay, that's good. So a bit of water. Um but we need an atmosphere first. Again, why is it so small? One radius of Earth, please. There we go. So that'll be our most earth like world, I'd say. Okay. So atmosphere, please. So we'll go over nice basic 0 0.980 or 0 0.9. There you go. Bit of atmosphere going on there. You can see it's still got some interesting crater marks going on as well. So should be an interesting. We'll give this one a green. Green appearance, why not? Slow that down. We haven't had a green planet in a while. Water will give it a nice sort of light shade of blue. And then obviously we need some water. Yeah. It's looking good. Let's give it a nice sort of light blue shade like the planet we did earlier. Okay, and then we just need to simply let it settle. So where are we? Settle water. A little too much still. So we can just change the sea level instead of messing around with all that. We just lower this. Oh, there's a huge crater mark. That's cool. Settle water. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so we need it around. This could be quite a hard one to tame, actually. It looks like it's got a lot of low and then just a lot of high elevation everywhere, so... Could be an interesting one to sort. He's got a huge island there from that previous crater mark. Interesting stuff. I do think we need more terrain kind of sticking out the... The sea level... Uh, where's that terrain button? Elevation span. There we go. I think we need this one, don't we? No? Uh, that's not doing much. I <laughs> don't want to do that then. Let's see what we'll do is we'll just turn off the clouds now so we can actually see what's underneath. So that's what we've got. Okay. So now if we change the sea level button. So where is that? Uh, there we are. Okay, so. See, that will flood it. 
So if we lower it down... Oh, yeah, it literally is like make or break on this guy. Oh. So it's all about getting it right. Settle. There. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, that's so strange. You can see it's so shallow, a lot of this water. That's going to be a very difficult well to sort of get right, I think. Actually, maybe this exaggerated... Maybe that would help. Oh, my God. What is going on with this? That's so weird. Settle water, please. Is that going to work? Let it, let it sort itself out for a bit. That's such a, that is such a strange well that we've somehow formed out of all this. This has got a turbulent history, this planet. <laughs> oh, that's so weird. What is that all about? <laughs> oh, my God. Let's give it a little more blue shade of water. And then a uh, base colour. Let's give it some... Uh, more interesting. Uh, it's just tilted on its side quite a lot as well, if you notice. I think mostly low ele. This thing is all low elevation, pretty much. Look. Oh man. Look like a faked green out. There we go. Middle and high, I guess we'll put as that. Okay, and then clouds, atmosphere, done. So such a mysterious world there. It's cooling down, so let it sort itself out. So that's sitting, hopefully... So the star hasn't evolved yet, so this will be sitting in the fairly cold parts of space right now. I mean, it has a, a 1 ATM atmosphere, so enough to really... It has, yeah, not some bits to keep it going. Okay, there we go. We'll leave that alone for now. Let it sort itself out as well. That is a strange world. Next up, we got this one out here. So again, another world with no elevation. Very, very strange. So I'm guessing that's what happens if you if you form objects out of asteroids. This that is your result. So pretty weird. We'll give this one a redder sort of look. Maybe like a Mars sort of reddish shade going on, maybe. There we go. Maybe no no we won't go in atmosphere. There we go. We'll leave that alone. So one of the more default worlds there. Actually, okay, so we've got this one. I want to get to the gas giants, really. That'd be good. Again, this world. I'm going to have this is just a frozen world. It contains a lot of water, but it's just going to be completely froze. We'll give it an atmosphere, though. Why not? 180 m Nice and easy. But for the time being, that's going to be pretty frozen. We'll give it a nice deep blue colour atmosphere as well. So it's quite dim out here because we haven't got much starlight yet, so we'll have to see how that plays out. Okay, right. Now we're moving on to the last of probably the inner planets, I'd say. So more rat over here. Just let I just want time let's just, just let time run. I want to get these temperatures cooled down, so there we go. They're slowly going back to where they should be. Cool, cool. Let everyone sort themselves out. And then down here. We'll just have a battered cratered world. So flat will go with Enceladus. Pause. Actually, no, Enceladus is a bit of a crappy one. Let's go over Io and Mars. Yeah, Mars. Hey guys, that's an interesting combo. A lot of volcanoes on that combination. <laughs> you see, it's got some of the ones left over from what we formed by the looks of it. So that's pretty cool. So a pretty beaten up world indeedy. Right. Base colour. Yeah. Actually, let's make it kind of volcanic then. Let's actually go with the IO sort of colour scheme of a bit of Mars red in there and really make it sort of a hybrid y kind of mix. So very mysterious planet there. There's the volcanoes. Yeah. That should be pretty cool actually. Make this more of an orange shade. Leave that alone. So that's a pretty volcanic looking world there. Okay, there's more of that. Okay, cool. Right now, outer system. What we'll do is we'll throw in a save as well. 
So I'm going to leave the I'm going to leave the um, rocky objects in the outer system. We're not going to customize those. We're just going to leave them as just default rocks because all the interesting stuff's really in the inner system. So we'll leave those alone because they'll probably get ejected at some point once we really let time evolve. So here we go, Dominant Gas Giant, already in a pretty uh, Jupiter-looking appearance as well. So this one actually contained a lot of water though. So I do want this one to actually be an, a, a giant Neptune sort of mix. So we need a bluer. It needs to be blue. There you go. Yeah. Dominant gas giant, everybody. Yeah, let's check that out. And then just a little more bands, just to make it a little more interesting. So we'll just go nice different mixes of blue. See what we end up with. So there we go. So we this is probably the most in-depth customization we're doing for a birth to death system ever. Because instead of using templates, we're actually just building the entire thing ourselves manually. So if you like customization, this is definitely the one for you. So there we go. Give it a nice little mix of blues. In there, a bit of turquoise going there, that doesn't help. So there you go. Yeah. Until you get something like this. It's looking good actually, it's looking really good. I do like the way that's that's formed really nicely actually. Oh yeah, I do really like that. Seems a lighter band. But that not bad for a quick little build. I really like that. That's so it looks so clean and just yeah, I like that's great. That's a really nice looking world. I am actually just save that. I really like the way that's come out. Yeah. It's basic, I know, but yeah, it's good. So there's our dominant gas giant. So I'll call it so we just so we know, we'll call it D G for dominant gas. Uh, capital letters. D G. Dominant gas giant. Okay. We've got a few more rocky planets in here again. We're not gonna touch those. Are these all rocky. There's another gas giant in a very similar orbit there. This is a second of the... Is this one... This one doesn't have water, so this will be more of an orange coloured one. So, get rid of the blues and making them orange. To the more Jupiter kind of look to it. Okay, we'll double up the bands a bit. Just a bit of a mix in there. Here we go. So, more simples. There you go. Cool. Maybe this one has more of a yellow, have a stronger sort of yellowy theme going on there. There we go. Get rid of those darker shades and go with a nice sort of lighter, lighter mix there. That's way too green though, that colour there. Let's just dim that down a bit. Until you get something more like that, I'd say. Let's just blend the colours a bit nicely together. Something simple, um, that darker band, I don't like that. Let's make that a bright, brighter mix there. But yeah, I'm not going to spend too much time on that, so there we go. that we'll go with a yellower trail there. Okay, next planet out, this one. Another gas giant. I kind of like the grey theme it's got going on, actually, so I think we'll stick with that. So not the most visually appealing, but it has a slight sort of greener look to it. Or slight green to it. So I'll leave that as a... I'll leave that the way it is, actually. Just a tad bit of green in there, just to add a bit of colour. Now, it's green for unknown reasons, but it does have that little mix of green in there. A little greenish-grey object there. Okay, next planet out, this one. So another rocky object that has no texture at all, so we'll quickly give it something. So, Iapetus and Mercury. There you are. Another rocky world with nothing on it. Again, same principle. I'm just going to press random ones. So this one. A yeah, planet with an atmosphere. This is the Super Earth. This is one we do want to customise. So, far out. Very far out. Very thick atmosphere, though. We don't need that. Let's give it a mysterious purple atmosphere. That's too magenta. I want a proper purple. Let's go. There you go. That's more like it. Uh, it has a lot of water. I don't want that much water on it, actually. Yeah, I think that's more like it. Okay. Uh, I don't want it being a gas giant, though. That would help. Get rid of that. Okay. Cool. Surface texture. So, flat and flat. We'll go with. Uh, Callisto. Oh, oh, yeah. That looks cool. And Mercury. And we already did Callisto Mercury. Let's go Callisto Tethys. That's going to have a lot of craters hidden on it. So 
Now, I just want to see, actually, where is the water levels? So, I want to go to... Where you going, Shudia? I want this. This will probably be a planet in the far future that slowly... When the stars are red giant, that's when this planet will have time to shine. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly settle the water. Or melt all. Settle. Where is our water? Oi. Hey, where's your water? Hey. There you go. Melt. Can I have water? Where's the... What? There is water here. We are on the right planet, right? Oh my god, we were on the wrong... What? What? When did I click on that? How did I do... What? Where's the purple one gone? Uh, I, must... I don't know how I managed that, but there it is. There you go. Okay, so... Obviously, in the far future, this is going to be when this planet kicks off. So... Obviously, not the most water in the world, but it's going to have to settle a little bit more. So we can just increase the sea level here. And that's going to be a pretty cool world in the far future, but for now, it's going to be frozen. So it's at minus 70. That's not going to last. But yeah, for the time, you know, in the future, that could be a world to look at. So there we go. Okay. Cool. Hopefully it stays, it doesn't get ejected or something, because that would be a bit rotten. So, there you go. So what else have we got left? It's just random, it's just Rockies at this point out here, isn't it? So, Phobos and Deimos together, that'd be quite an interesting look. Oh yeah, that looks cool. Um, okay. Another world of an atmosphere, we'll leave that alone, I'm going to leave that as it is. Is that everyone done? Got a few asteroids in there as well. We did this one, didn't we? No, we didn't. Okay, I think that is all of them. I'm sure we have more gas giants. I'm sure we did. So where is this one sitting then? So I'm sure there was another gas giant further out. We'll, we'll quickly go ahead and make one of them, actually. One, that's fine. So there we go. Dion and Tethys. Lots of craters there. I'm sure there should be another gas... Oh, was it the furthest one out? Or was it that one? Okay, we're going to make we're gonna make this a gas giant. I'm sure I should have had another one in there. So there we go. Or oh, ice giant. A lot of water contained there. There you go. Okay, so... Base colour. Don't need that. Oh, that's a gas giant. I'm going to close it and reopen it. There you go. It's losing material. Get rid of that rubbish. Make it bigger. Six raise it. That is way too big. <laughs> Doesn't need to be that big. Oh. Make the mass bigger, but leave the radius alone. There you go. That's more like it. There you go. There you are. All right. So, colors. Down here. I guess we'll have a nice deep Neptune blue one. Looks pretty Neptune y to me. That's almost purple now. A little more more of the blue blue. And I'll see. It's gotta have the ultimate blue trail. Alright, there you go. So lining up now. What have we got? So this is our lineup. So we got Yeah, we had more gas giants in this. I don't know what happened to them, but we definitely have more. So look how large Morat is. It's a huge planet. Yeah, we definitely had more gas giants in this. I don't know what's happened to them. Um, we're making this bigger. This shouldn't be that. I don't know how that's happened because we definitely have them. Okay, here we go. God, Morat is a big one, isn't it? All right. I'm sure we had more. Uh, oh, why is that so small? Oh, radius of Earth. No, bigger. Mass is one. G what? We don't need. Oi, oi, oi. Zero point four Jupiter. Mass, lock that. Radius, now we make it bigger. There you go, that's more like it. Yeah. Got a few gas giants now, that's more. Yeah. Make that the smaller one, I guess. It's on the edge of the system. I mean, ideally, the, the yellow and main blue one should be the biggest because they were the ones formed closer to the centre of the system. So, there we go. And I'm not sure I like that yellow gas giant. Let's quickly lock onto it. I, I want to fix that. I don't like that. I think you either have it all yellow or you don't have it yellow at all. Uh, 
kind of a deeper yellow, but there we are. I think that's looking better. So it's an all yellow object there, so. Quite a mysterious one, probably a lot of sulfur to make it that yellow, eh? <laughs> Yeah. Cool. God, it's a, it really is a yellow beast, isn't it? Alright. Maybe we just have some whiter shades in there. So just to blend it down a bit. Just so it's not too overwhelming. Yeah, that's, that's already looking better. Is that the middle band? That looks cleaner already, actually, I like that. And uh, the top will make it as a paler paler shade as well. And then a deeper yellow at the top. There you go. And maybe this one as well, just a slightly deeper, just to blend them in. There we go, that's cool. So there's our dominant gas shine there. Looks great. We've got our more gray, the greyish green object there. That's the second one. And we've got the Neptune at the end. So four gas shines. I think that's a decent, respectable number. And then there's our rocky worlds. So you've got them all there. Decent line up there. Nothing ridiculously crazy looking. And there's a bunch of asteroids. Our very small little planet here. Dwarf planet, I'm guessing, and then okay. Well, a lot of these are quite similar size. I think we'll just have a slight little tweak here because they are they are very similar size. So we're just gonna have a bit of customization menacing. So there we go. Don't them all be in the same size? So I think just to just to blend them in a little closer together. That's the cool crate. Look, that one is such a cool looking one. Okay, I think that's a more respectable lineup. You know, they're not all the same size now. Make this one a little bigger. Why not? Yeah, it's looking good. Right, there we go. So now I think we are ready to start properly running this simulation and seeing what this system has got in store for us. I think we could have already had some really cool. That definitely looks better in black. The big scarred craters there. Right, awesome. And I think this one actually, no, I'm going to give this one a little atmosphere, just so it's a little Mars-like as well. Because this is the Mars IO kind of look. We'll give it one Mars atmosphere, Max. Kind of makes sense. There you go. And maybe a Marsy kind of atmosphere to fit him as well, so. Um, oi. There you are. And then, uh, a little deeper red than Mars is one, but there you go. Right, now we are ready. So, zoom out. This system is formed. This is what it's formed. Now, I think all that's left is to evolve the star. So we're going to go ahead and save, refresh, save. There we go. And then we can start actually running the system before we finish up today's episode of Bix. We've already been going for almost an hour now. So we'll let the simulation run for a bit and then we'll finish off today's episode before we move on next um, next week to um, actually getting this simulation evolved. So you can see the inner solar system's got a lot of, uh, lot of little debris parts flying around, all these fragments. All little asteroids. So a little asteroid wave in the inner system there with our first planet there. Okay, so play. And now, evolve the star. So, immediately, radius. We're going straight up to seven Jupiters. Luminosity, 0 0.6. No, 0 0.7. There we go. It's already an increase in size. So, see the luminosity zone's getting bigger. Let's let time play. Let's see how our system holds up. I reckon there's definitely going to be an, an issue between Dominant Gas Giant and the yellow one here. They are too close together, and Dominant Gas Giant is not going to put up with it because it's got three masses of Jupiter. That is going to cause some serious issues for this part. And I think all the Gas Giants are quite close together, so this could definitely cause some issues. So we're going to see how that plays out. And then all that's further out is the, the blue Gas Giant's nice and safe out there, so that should be all right. But I think the these Gas Giants, the green, the yellow, and the, the Dominant Blue, I think there's definitely going to be some issues there. <laughs> okay, so anyways... Play, let it run. Let's see how this uh, plays out over a long period of time. That's what these systems are all about. There you go. So you start to see. Oh, there's already trouble. Oh, there's already trouble going on. The blue gas giant. Look at the dominant gas giant's orbits change. How is that a case? It is the dominant, isn't it? It's got 1.29 masses. Or oh, is it the dominant? No, the yellow one's the dominant one. Ah, okay. I got it wrong. This one's bigger. I think it's bigger. But it has less mass. Interesting. So the yellow one's the dominant one. What? What? Well, 
This one is actually the dominant DG. It's actually this one. This is the DG. And then this one isn't the DG. Well, how does fate have that? So, I guess this one shouldn't be as big as it is then. So, how large is that? Well, the dominant gas giant needs to be the biggest one. So, that's two radius of Jupiter. So, I guess lock, make this one the 3.4, whatever it was. And then make this one the 2.2.7. And that's upset our mass a bit. Oi, no. Uh, well, that was about 2, wasn't it? 2.4. Okay, so 2.4 against 3.2. It's 3.4 in radius. And this one's only 2.7 in radius. There we go. That's, that makes more sense. And then you got the green one here. It's just nowhere near the level of that. Because it's more of a Neptune-sized one, I guess. Still 1.72 Jupiters. Oh, wait, hang on. Five mass of Jupiter. What? Something's not quite right here. I don't remember making them that big. Yes. Oh, it's because I made them bigger on the... When we have when we change their sizes on the... Um, what's it? On the menu. When we when we go well, on a chart mode, I changed the size of them. I didn't notice their mass changed. That's why it's done that. <laughs> so in theory, this is wrong. No, this shouldn't be this big. We're going to put that back to actually one point. Two and um, no, this this is the dominant one. We're gonna keep we're gonna keep this the way it was. So two point four, one point two, and then this one is again. This is this is going to zero point eight. No, they're near the side. So that's now the. If we go to radius, there you go. So let's just pretend that these two bounced off each other. That's why the blue one got pushed out of it. But now that is the dominant. That is definitely the dominant gas giant. So the DG. So there we go. The DG is this one. End of story. DG. Uh, capital letters, God's sake. There we go. D DG. Play. There we go. Now, that's the DG. <laughs> so mass. That is the biggest. Yes. Good. Cool. Right, now we can let it play out. That's kind of uh, kind of played quite nicely. This. We'll see how that how that works out over a long period of time. So, there you go. Okay, cool. So, there's the inner system there. So, you can see the two gas giants are bouncing off each other, so we can really get some issues going on there. And hey. So, the green one's now the closest to the star. Mm. So, yeah, with our power of uh, God, I guess, to uh, modify things, um, yeah, the, the, the blue gas giant is the dominant one again. So, there we go. You can see it's going to have an issue with the yellow one there. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's definitely going to be some ejections in this system in the future and next episode, probably. Anyway, how's our inner system doing? So, there you go. Okay. So these two are still pretty close. I think we may have an Earth and Faya situation going on here. That's Frozen. How's our green one doing here? Let's see how he's playing. So, this is a world potential for life in the future as well. So, right now it is Frozen. See, it's got some crater marks on it as well. Okay. Oh, that big crater there. That is a huge one, isn't it? <laughs> so that's probably the moon we collided it with early in the early days of this system. So back to realistic as well. There you go. So yeah, not yet. It needs time to warm up. It's nowhere near the zone yet. Actually, what we'll do is we'll go to view, open this. I want the zone. Zone, zone, zone. Where's the zone? That's all zones. I want the disc. Or oh, that one. Is it uh, billboard? Yeah, I like that one. Well, no, we could go with cross, actually. Well, then I think I think this the billboard just makes the most sense. If it's in that glow, then you know it's in there. Because I think the flat one's kind of boring. You know, that's old school. We want the new stuff. Cross. No, I'm gonna use. Do I use cross? No, it just no. It's got to be billboard. I think that's just the that one makes the most sense. So there we go. Okay, cool. So annoying. You can't select them from the button here. Because if I turn it off and turn it on again, it just goes back to that. So yes, yeah, annoying. You can't select which one you want. There we go, so we'll have the cross. No, no, that one. There you go, cool. Right, there you go. So how is our... Uh, so this is our closer. So even this isn't... This is pretty, uh, pretty cold here at the moment. Only it's minus 35. And then the only planet actually in the action is the one in here. With all the little fragment comets around it, I guess. So this one here. The only planet receiving temperature, 136 degrees. You can see the craters on it. Pretty big enough. What textures does this have anyway? This is Rhea and Tefis combined. Okay. Cool. So there's that one. Okay. So we check the second. The third planet 
They're both there, all frozen up anyway. Cool. Right, see, so let's just let the simulation run for all the time being. Okay, cool. So we'll let it run for a bit and then we'll finish off today's episode. So let's see how that plays out. There's definitely going to be some gas giant problems in the next episode, 100%, once we really get this going. You'd already see the orbits aren't spherical anymore as well, so pretty crazy stuff. Something got ejected as well. What was that? So this thing is gone. Get rid of that. Okay. Cool. Okay, a little faster. Whoa, someone else is gone. I think it's just those little particles. Yeah, the fragments, yeah. They're all the ones closest to the star, so it makes sense that that planet would eject them out. So, you know, they're, they're just getting ejected, all those fragments from the inner system here. Because obviously the planet's going to just shoot them out eventually anyway, so there you go. See, the yellow gas giant has been pushed out a bit into the outer regions. Look, it's now in the zone of the blue gas giant further out, so the yellow one has been pushed. Dominant gas giant and the green one seem to hopefully be sorting themselves out in the inner. Oh, are they? Oh, they're gone part. Okay, maybe they'll be able to work. Okay. So the yellow one now has to t contend with the blue one further out. Interesting. See, the outer dwarf planets are slowly getting bent out of position as well. Let's just go ahead and delete the fragments because they're just annoying. There you go. Another one there. Control D to get rid of any particles. Cool. So you can already see, this was all a flat sphere at one point. The only one that was different was the green one. But now we've got a lot more uh, orbits going on. So you can already see over a little... So we've already, we're almost at 2,000 years of simulated time. And you can already see in 2,000 years of time, lots of trouble has already commenced. So, hey, pretty, pretty wild stuff. So, there you go. Maybe the fragments will sort themselves out in the inner system. Who knows? Cool. But anyways, well, that is just evolving... We will finish off now so for everyone watching i hope you've really enjoyed today's episode of actually me creating the system from scratch because it's what we've never done this before normally we just place in objects and let it run but this time we built it from scratch formed a couple of planets evolved them all or built them all the way we want them to gas rocky all that customize them the way we want to and then we let the simulation play so stay tuned for next week's episode where we will have the simulation running a lot faster and we will slowly have the star evolve and we'll see what other chaos and stuff unfolds in in that episode as well. You can already see the blue, the outer gas giant is now moved inwards. Swap positions with the yellow one there. So that's interesting. But yeah, that will send done, guys. If you like this video, make sure to go for... Let's even go for 50 likes on said video as well, guys. And if you like this one, make sure you also subscribe. Helps on the journey to 30,000 subscribers as well. As we are less than about 900 subscribers away now. So if you haven't, please make sure to press that button to stay up to date of all my videos. And, yeah, help us on the journey to 30,000. We'll definitely have to get something special planned for that. But, yeah, in the meantime, guys, as well, stay safe. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.